Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain Stokes theorem with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I'll explain basics, statement, proof, physical significance and applications of Stokes theorem. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of Stokes theorem. One should know Stokes theorem is based on curl of function. In my earlier videos of this video lecture series of electromagnetic theory, I have explained curl of function. Stokes theorem that is based on curl of function and if you observe Stokes theorem statement then that gives relationship in between line integration and surface integration. So Stokes theorem that is based on curl of function. If you have function f then del cross f that is curl of function. So curl of function surface integration is equals to functions line integration means Stokes theorem gives you idea about relationship in between surface integration and line integration. In this video I will derive this statement as well. See Stokes theorem that is based on curl of function and based on curl of function one can identify rotation of body at different positions. Let me take few examples that will give you more clarity. Let us consider here we have turbine you can observe and this turbine is placed under flow of water. So at bottom of this turbine flow of water is there in this direction. Because of this flow of water this turbine that is getting rotated in anti-clockwise direction means curl of function that is positive over here. So based on curl of function one can identify rotational movement of body. Here body is turbine. If I have turbine like this and as if water flow is happening in this direction then this turbine that is getting revolved in this direction that is clockwise direction means here curl of function that is negative. So here turbine motion that explains curl of function. So as if you have filled instead of water if you have filled which is revolving body then that motion of revolution that could be identified by curl of function. So Stokes theorem that we use it to identify rotational motion of body. Now I'll explain you proof of Stokes theorem. See Stokes theorem is based on curl of function. If you have function f that is given as per fx into i direction plus fy into j direction plus fz into k direction then curl of function is del cross f and that will be i j k del by del x del by del y del by del z and fx fy and fz. So by having a solution of this matrix one can identify curl of function and curl of function that could be also calculated by this limit where delta s tends to 0 here delta s is small area of given function. So here area is going towards 0 where line integration of function divided by delta s that is there with this limit. Now if you want Stokes theorem then all you need to do is you need to cross multiply this delta s over this side. If you do that then here over this side we have limit delta s tends to 0 curl of function into delta s and over this side we have limit delta s tends to 0 and functions line integration is there. See this functions line integration that has nothing to do with area. So this portion will be line integration of function only but if you observe this side then over this side we have definition of integration. Definition of integration is what? Limit delta s tends to 0 anything delta s that means that anything that we are integrating with respect to area. So this term that is curl of function surface integration and this term that is functions line integration. 
and this is what statement of stocks theorem so stocks theorem explains what it explains relationship in between surface integration and line integration See this relationship that is very essential. The reason is as and when you do mathematical calculation at the time simplification can be done using stocks theorem. In future coming videos, I'll be solving few problems by which you can understand why stocks theorem is very essential. Why this relation of surface integration with line integration is very essential that you will get to know based on some problems. Now I'll explain you physical significance of stocks theorem. Stokes theorem is based on curl of function and based on curl of function one can identify rotational and irrotational motion of given body. So based on Stokes theorem one can identify rotational and irrotational movement under field. Let me take few examples. Here we have one body you can observe and this body is placed under field. So you can observe field is happening like this on this body. So here direction of field that is equal on both of this surface, top surface as well as bottom surface. Because of which this body that will not be having any rotational movement. So this field is irrotational field that one can say means curl of the function that will be zero. Curl of the function is zero means what? Here body is not having any rotational movement, right? So if you want to identify rotational movement of body, then you will have to identify curl of the function and that could be identified using Stokes theorem. Let me take few more case studies. If you observe here we have field which is happening in this direction at top of the body and at the bottom of the body field is happening in this direction. So because of this field, there will be rotational movement and that will happen in this direction that will happen in clockwise direction. So if you identify curl of the function then that curl of the function that will be negative. It explains rotational movement due to field and that is happening in clockwise direction means curl of the function that will be negative. Here let me consider one more case study in which at top side field is happening in this direction and at bottom side field is happening in this direction because of which body will be having rotational movement in anti-clockwise direction or one can say counter-clockwise direction. So here rotational field is there because of field there is anti-clockwise movement of this body means curl of the function that will be positive. So based on Stokes theorem we can identify rotational movement of body. Right. Now let me discuss about applications of Stokes theorem. See Stokes theorem that we can use it in fluid mechanics. In fluid mechanics with fluid if we want to identify rotational movement of atoms then one can apply Stokes theorem. So in flow of fluid how movements are there with body that one can identify using Stokes theorem. It is also used in flow of field. There can be a different types of field under which body may be there. That body could be mass, that body could be charge, right? So based on different fields, there can be different types of torque calculation that could be done under gravitational field, electric field or magnetic field. This Stokes theorem that is also used in aerodynamics as well as we can use it in electromagnetics. In this video lecture series of electromagnetics theory, I'll explain many problems based on Stokes theorem in future coming videos that will resolve your queries further. I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is Stokes theorem, what is the physical meaning of it. Based on this, in future we will be solving few problems as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.